Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to deactivate or delete your Roblox account. That's right, you can actually deactivate it or you can delete it totally um, um, easily actually on the um, mobile app and on the website. So I'm going to show you how to do it on the website first and then I'm going to show you how to do it on the mobile app next. But before we get going, hit the like on this video. It really helps our channel. Also, the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos we come out with every Thursday. So keep checking that back every Thursday on this. Now, if you ever want to de deactivate one or delete an account, um, we're going to start with the website. So we're going to jump onto there. So let's go to the website first. And I'm going to go up here. This one. Well, last week, if you guys don't remember, we, we have been covering Roblox for the last couple of weeks. So make sure you check out the other ones I have been doing. But I was going to pull which ones were they last week. Come on, guys. You got to help me out here. Oh, we had how to disable. If my screen likes me, how to disable data sharing on Roblox was last week. And I'll put a link down below for that. And I'll have a link down from the other one we had the week before. I can't remember the title right now, but <laughs> you can find it down there in the description below. All right. Let's get in here. Now, where do you go when you get on your Roblox account? Make sure you sign in the Roblox account you want to delete or deactivate. Once you're on there, you're going to go to the top right and you click on the gear icon. And then you're going to click on settings like we've done before. And then once you're on settings, so this is obviously I said Roblox.com we're showing first. So in the middle, you'll see settings. You're going to look for that left menu and you go down to privacy and content restrictions. We're going to click on that. And then once you do that, you click on that under here. You're going to see a list of many things you can work with, but at the very bottom is the one we want. It's account deactivation and deletion. So if you click on that, you're going to see right here in the middle, you're going to see deactivate account. You're not going to see delete. Um, for some reason on the website, it doesn't offer you the option here to initiate deletion, um, but you do get the deactivate account, which is deactivating your account is, re is reversible. Uh, while deactivated, um, your profile will be hidden and you will not be able to use Roblox. So you, you can get into it, but you can't play any of the games or do anything like that. So that's how that's doing it. And this is usually done for like 30 days. I think they go 30 days at a time, but you can deactivate your your uh, Roblox account. Now, deleting it through the website, you can't. You have to contact the support um, on your on your Roblox account. So you got to find the support people. But basically what it is, is they basically from Roblox, they say you can request that we delete personal information that we collect or maintain about you. This can only be done by deleting your account to make a deletion request. Please contact us by using our support form and select the desired right to be forgotten option under the data privacy requests. To protect your privacy, we will take steps to verify your identity before fulfilling your request. Because they don't want you accidentally deleting it totally. Uh, because that, that'd be kind of rude. So let me show you right here. And that where I read that is on my article. I'll have a link down below for it. I, wrote, I write articles first before I do this. So right here, this is where I read it. And the support link's on the article. So if you want to go there, I'll take it straight to the support. But it's basically roblox.com slash support. So that's how you would deactivate it or... Deleting it's a little bit more work, but deactivating it right here, hit deactivate account. Just click that button and you are good to go. Um, now we're going to jump over to my Motorola Edge Android phone. I'll show you how to actually do it on there. And you'll see there's an option on there that says delete or initiate deletion. I'll show you where that is on the app. Okay, now I'm on my Motorola Edge Android phone and we're going to show you how to do uh, the Roblox uh, this deactivating and deleting on here. So what you want to do is find your Roblox account, which is right up here. Tap on it. Um, and once you're on your Roblox account on your on your app, your phone, you're going to go to the very bottom right to the more link down here, the three dots. You can tap on that. And once you do that, you want to scroll up until you bump into settings. And that's what we want right here. So going to tap on settings. And then you're looking for privacy and content restrictions. Easy to find. And then once you're in here, you're going to look to the very bottom of this, the settings menu here. And you're looking for account deactivation and deletion. So tap on that. And now you get two choices. See, as I told you before, this is what threw us off last time. Deactivate. So you can deactivate. Deactivating your account is reversible. Now, I wanted to read that first line because it's reversible. So you can deactivate. Normally, it lasts about 30 days. I think that's what it is. I might be wrong. You can tell me in the comments. Uh, the one down here is the one that you didn't have on the website is initiate account deletion, which is deleting your account is permanent and cannot be reversed. 
After deleting your account, you will not be able to access any items from your Roblox account. If you're not sure if you want to delete your account, you can deactivate it above instead. So that's kind of what it is. If you, you just want to take a break, deactivation is the best way to go. But if you want to totally get rid of it, then we're going to tap on the initiate. And I'm going to do that for this video and show you how this works. So you tap on it. And there you go. It gives you a warning. I'm glad they warn you one more time before you accidentally. Because you can slip and bump your finger against it and delete. So they're going to do whatever they have to do. But they're going to check on you. So if you hit initiate, they're going to get a message. No, it should. It should be able to. And they'll double check and verify with you that you really meant to do that. That's what it said in that um, that paragraph I read near the beginning of this um, video. But that's how you... I'm going to cancel because I don't want to delete my account. This is my account. So that's how you deactivate or slash delete Roblox account. Like I said, if they don't make it too easy because they don't want to make it easier, that would be bad. So that's how you do it. That's how you do it on the website and that's how you do it on the mobile app. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, and the notification bell. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com. That's where all our articles are and also make sure you subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.